Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel you guys. Today I'm going to be doing what's in my bag video because I haven't done one of those in a while and one of you actually reminded me or asked me to do this video so I was like actually let's do it. Let's see what kind of mess and random stuff is in my bag these days. Um, I sometimes watch what's in my bag videos and they end up being so glamorous. The items that people have in their bags, um, I, it makes me think did you put that there just before the video or do you actually carry that? Because if you actually carry that, then wow, I need to sort my life out because my bags are never glamorous. They are always absolute mess. And the bag that I am currently using and loving is this one from Teddy Blake. Um, I have shown you another bag from Teddy Blake that I have had for maybe two years now. Uh, it's actually right there. Let me grab it. This is the other bag from Teddy Blake that I own. It's their like bucket bag um, that comes in a couple of different sizes. This is the larger size. They also have a smaller size, which I love. Like I love this bag. Um, it's an absolute mess because this is like my everyday bag when I go to a shoot, when I go to work. Um, I basically just load it with everything that I need and it's perfect and it's a very sturdy leather. It's still Italian leather and it's like very nice but it doesn't scratch as easily it's not um it's not like floppy it holds the shape really really well that's why i really like this one and i like that it's red inside and very similar leather and um, but it feels a little bit softer like even softer and i've got it in this beautiful navy almost like denim color and then inside it's a purple suede so there are different colors that they have like such a big range of colors in the styles so i actually just got it on my phone just to check how many colors they have and this is the range whoops, of colors that they have so there are definitely quite a few like a lot of them and it's called the Alice Vitello um, media and I've got it in jeans they do the jeans one um, with the same like blue inside and they also do mine with like the Bordeaux um, interior so yeah lots and lots of different beautiful colors to choose from and it's just a perfect little tote it's not too big sit on the shoulder really nicely just like that so it's a great everyday bag and this just goes perfectly with any pair of jeans with black trousers I kind of just throw it on with like biker jackets and stuff like that just when I want an easy bag that um, has an opening like this where I can just dump stuff in this is the one that i reach for so anyways let's dive in and see what's inside this beauty uh, by the way i wanted to mention as well that the straps are really good lengths because sometimes the straps on tote bags can be really long or really short when you are like literally like stuck to your bag like this this is a really good comfortable strap because your jacket fits through it so let's dive in um i've got a water bottle in here this is just my gym water bottle um i try to uh, carry a water bottle with me everywhere so i don't have to buy plastic bottles um, doesn't always happen and then I do end up buying um, a bottle or I buy a glass one and then I just have this massive collection of reusable bottles so it's kind of a bit of a vicious circle but yeah I do try to drink um, up to two liters of water a day what else have we got we have a hairbrush which is a very old looking tangle teaser it's a very sad sad looking brush i don't even brush my hair that often you guys like honestly um i don't actually brush my hair that often if i will brush them once or twice between washes that's quite good because normally i just kind of leave my hair to be this is the natural texture and kind of how my hair is if I don't style them. This is the wave that I have in them. So um, I just leave them to be because if I do brush them, they go quite fluffy. So hence no brushing. But if I am putting my hair in a ponytail, I will use a brush. So this one is just handy because it's smaller than the brushes with the handles that I have. So hence I carry it, even if I don't use it that much. 
I do also have a little dry shampoo in here that I do use because I wash my hair maybe every four days, sometimes five days. So I don't wash my hair that often. Sometimes I do want to like zhuzh my hair up and I use the Batiste one or I use the Living Proof one. So this one I actually got the other day and this is the Batiste original one, clean and classic. And normally I used... Um, I think it's a pink one that I tried and it was absolutely fine, it didn't have any white cast. And then I got this one, um, obviously being in town, having dirty hair, I'm thinking, right, I look like a mess, I need something doing to my hair. And I got this one, and you guys, I have never seen such a heavy white cast on a dry shampoo. I'm gonna spray it on my hand and hopefully it will show. Yeah, this is what it comes out as. Um, that is a lot of white powder, like a lot. I mean, yeah, you, you can obviously like work it into your hair, but if you have dark hair, this would never work for you. I don't know why I just did this because now I'm just stuck. Okay, I just found tissue, but yeah, this is like, it basically dries and then it's just a white powder. It does the job, but if you have a dark, like dark hair and not like bleached, super blonde hair it's probably going to show unless you will sit there for like half an hour massaging it into your roots so not my favorite i much prefer the living proof one i've never had a problem like this with with that one and then i have a half eaten bar of like a little snack bar peanut delight yeah it's half eaten wonder how long it's been here wonder if i can just finish it right now but yeah I, I always have some kind of snacks in my bag because i am definitely a person who gets hangry like as soon as i'm a little bit hungry that's it my mood just flips like i am that person who if you, you if you meet me and i'm angry it's time it's just time to eat like you just have to feed me give me a snack give me a banana you know a jar of peanut butter i'll be happy then i have a hand sanitizer this is my favorite hand sanitizer ever forever and ever it's the dr bronner's lavender organic hand sanitizer i like that it comes in a spray i kind of much prefer it to the um like the alcohol squeezy ones because i just find them really harsh and really drying on your hands this one smells incredible and i've never experienced any dryness in my hands with it and you do get quite a lot my god this this dry shampoo is literally everywhere this was such a bad idea like it's literally all over my bag it's on the floor yeah that, that's awful anyways i've got a book in here and it's the albert camus the fall um i am that much into it and the reason why i have it in my bag is because it's a very light and thin book most of the times i actually listen to audiobooks on my phone i've got audible and i listen to all sorts of books most of them are either about crimes and murders and psychopaths or medical stuff like i have a really really peculiar taste in books I'm, i think i'm just fascinated with like human mind and that's why i find books like that really interesting um not that i you know am inclined that way or anything or if i have any kind of thoughts like this not at all just really fascinated by it. This is a really good book as well. I try not to talk about books when I'm showing you books because I always want people to read them and have their own first experience with them because otherwise people have expectations of things and I don't want you to have expectations but definitely a really good read. I mean Albert Camus is an amazing amazing writer so um, it's really good and it's thin so I am happy to carry it about and read it on public transport when I'm commuting all over the place on a train and then I have a little lip balm or a little lip oil from Clarence and it's instant light lip, lip comfort oil I love this product so much it's not a very long-lasting product but it gives you the juiciest lips like I've got it in two colors in this red and also in orange the orange definitely has quite an orange tint so if you don't want an orange tint 
go for the red one. It makes your lips just look very juicy and full and healthy and moisturized. I really like it. I'm halfway through this one, um, but I really like the applicator as well. It's quite a big, like, doe foot applicator. Um, I think this is called Red Berry. I've got another lip balm in here because you can never have enough lip balms. This is the By Terry Lip Care Balm de Rose. So it's a rose lip balm smells really really good it's definitely not my favorite lip balm for uh, several reasons first of all i'm kind of over lip balms that come in jars like this that you have to pick with your fingers because most of the time if i have a lip balm like this then i'm using it on the go and that means that i am you know all over the place all over town doing my thing uh probably haven't washed my hands for a few hours or if i have you know it's not it's just not great to be like going in and out with a finger and also i just don't find this one that nourishing like it's not that moisturizing and it doesn't really give your lips any shine it just smells nice and nothing groundbreaking and it's kind of expensive and it comes in a glass jar which is nice so i think i'm going to put it on my vanity table or by my bed rather than carry it in a bag because it's just a little bit heavy to be carried in a bag oh and uh, i have a spoon an actual spoon um i do tend to do this i kind of have a little spoon sometimes it's a metal one sometimes it's a wooden one sometimes it's like a reusable one plastic one whatever um because i sometimes will run out of the house with my breakfast in my hand and it could be like a granola pot or something like this sometimes i even run out with a hot porridge it happens because i um always miscount my time like in my mind I have plenty of time and then I look at the clock and I and I need to be somewhere in two minutes but also because I eat on the go quite a bit so if I don't want to pick up like cutlery from the shops then I just use my spoon obviously why wouldn't you do that why wouldn't you carry a spoon it's such an obvious thing a perfume and um, this is the Byredo black saffron um, so I had a pack of the little ones that they have I think there is six in the pack um, of all different scents and I think that this is such a fantastic way to try the, the scents that they have maybe pick the ones that you like the most and then you know invest into it because they are about 100 pounds each or something like this so quite expensive black saffron is beautiful it's quite a rich quite a sweet scent so depending what you like and it's just a really handy little bottle to have with you on the go i have a pen because you never know when you have to i don't know write your number down write somebody's number down you just never know you know a hair tie because what girl doesn't have random hair ties in her bag um, and my little wallet my little pouch wallet I gave up on really big wallets because I have so many small bags that the wallets just wouldn't fit into I need to go through this because it's it's looking very fat and heavy and I don't like that uh, it comes with a little pouch like this that you just attach to the strap which I think is fantastic when they do things like this because with pouches so a whole vase of flowers just dropped on my floor and the water went literally everywhere and then I grabbed the bouquet and it has lilies in it and now I've got lily pollen all over my jumper but I will just very patiently finish this video and then I will go and deal with it. I kind of wiped the floor hence I'm a little bit out of breath because I was literally on all fours crawling all over the room. But you know what? One of the things, it just happens. I will deal with it in a minute. The bag comes with a pouch. And I really like when they do that because a lot of the times when you have a huge tote and you're looking for something small and you are like literally, it's like a black hole. I think a woman's bag in general is like a black hole. You like keep looking for it and there's nowhere to be found. And this is a bit of a savior. So you can put the little items that you might need in here. I've got a little nail file in here from Models Own. Handy. Oh, I have another spoon. A little wooden spoon because maybe if you don't want a big spoon you can have a little spoon or maybe you don't feel like a metal spoon and you want a wooden spoon you just never know what life is gonna throw at you and what kind of spoon you will need in that moment you know what I mean it's tricky and I think I have another lip balm in here 
how many lip balms do I need? Yeah, I do have another lip balm. It's the La Mer the lip balm. They don't even have to name it anything else. It's so expensive that they can just name it the lip balm and it's not even that good. It smells nice, it's kind of minty. I have to reapply it all the time to see any kind of result and again it doesn't really give any shine so at least it's in a plastic thing so it's not too heavy but that's all I'm saying, it's not that effective. So unless you're like feeling rather bougie, you want to splash some money on a lip balm, uh, I would go with the Terry by Terry one over this one though. And that is it in my bag. That's all of the random things that are in there at the moment. I need to go and clean up this mess, put this in a wash ASAP, because I think this is gonna stain, which is great. It's a great start to my day, but that happens. It doesn't matter, I'm over it already. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of other videos you would like to see from me. Um, leave your ideas, comments in the comment section below. I will leave the link to the bag in the description box below as well, because obviously they are available. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and I will see you guys very very soon in my next video. Bye!